I spent many years attempting to prove that I'm a better man than my father was. Attempting to prove my own case for rejection, abandonment, and loneliness. It's been exhausting. I've put every person who ever let me down on trial in my mind and heart then. When I was in seventh grade and my stepbrother pushed me down the stairs, breaking my wrist, causing me to miss my first year of modified baseball, I found him guilty. When my high school crush broke up with me to date the captain of the football team, ouch, definitely guilty. When my father, in a drunken stupor, <clears throat> told me that I was too stupid to go to law school. Guilty on all charges. I've worked hard to get to this level of success, and here I am, Joseph Wise Esquire, putting his things in a box, which I'll eventually toss in a closet somewhere, only to collect dust. I didn't see this coming. I've put 15 hard years in this law firm. And now to be let go because I'm no longer a fit for the new direction is, wow. I mean, one day you're leading the team, you're winning cases, you're making money, and the next, you're the virus they're trying to get rid of. It's going to take me some time to process, but I'll be okay. Because the real question I've been asking myself lately is, why is it that I feel so empty? I mean, despite my great credentials and all my accomplishments, I mean, I've been married to the love of my life for 22 years. We have two amazing kids, super gifted. I work long hours. When I get home, there's dinner at the table. And when I tell you my wife can cook, it's a five-star meal. We have money in the bank, so what is it? What's missing? Because me personally, I've been feeling empty. Over the last few months, I've been researching religion, faith. I read a lot, and every religion I read about seemed to me put all this pressure on me to somehow make my way back to this higher being. No thanks. I've been living my whole life with this kind of pressure. But this holiday season, this Christmas, I've been taking this closer look at the story of Jesus. Did you know that God sent his son Jesus to rescue us so that you and I could be with him forever? That's really amazing. You know, recently, when I told my legal assistant that the firm had let me go, I had to tell her that she was done too. I thought she was gonna fly off the handle. She's a savvy cookie from the Bronx. Now, don't get me wrong, she's super nice. <laughs> she's also a Christian, but she never forced her beliefs on me. So I tell her she no longer has a job, and she looks at me and she quotes this part of the Bible. She said that Jesus asked this question. What is a prophet of man if he gains the whole world and yet forfeits his soul? And that was it. That made sense. That question is the answer that I've been looking for. I've been trying to gain so much of the world, but yet my soul is empty. And I don't know, I haven't figured it all out yet. But that feels like really good news. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. So right now, me packing up this box, it's like me leaving the past behind and stepping into something new. The only thing is, I don't know what the new looks like. I just know that I'm new. I'm a new person. And I pray, I'm not good at it, but I talk to God. And I believe what I said. Save my soul. I admit, I've done wrong. I've done it all wrong. But I 
believe you're the Son of God. You're my boss now, that's it. And I can't explain, but I've got this peace, and I've got this joy, and I feel like I'm on the mountaintop, and I need to let everybody know. I gotta let my brother know, the one who pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> we haven't talked in a while. Hey, Zach, it's me. I know you're probably busy at work. I'm sorry I haven't called. It's been a long time. 